Well, sometimes all it takes is just the faith of a child to somehow give us reassurance that everything is going to be all right. And that's the case here with one family in Minnesota, Shaletta Brundage and her two children, Cameron and Brandon. Now, both Cameron and Brandon both have autism. Cameron is is actually the younger of the two. She's six. Brandon is seven, although Brandon's autism is a little bit more uh, severe. He also has severe anxiety about things. He's very uh, nervous about the virus that's going on right now, guys, or I like to call it the My Sharona. That's what I call it, guys. That's my name for it, and it's okay. I can make up my own name, right? You guys don't mind. But anyway, the mom here, uh, Shaletta Brennan, she got a video of Cameron going up to her brother who was very scared of what was going on. And she held his hand. And I'll put the clip to this uh, down below in the description. You guys can watch it for yourself. But she went ahead and prayed 2 Timothy 1, 7 with her brother, taking her brother by the hand and saying, For the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and of a sound mind. And that really... Uh, that really went a long way, not just with their mom, but also with everybody else on social media that saw this video going around. And you see a little child like that, only six years old, uh, and she's praying with her brother and asking her brother to repeat after her. Uh, it just really lets you know that God can work even through a child that young. And I think we forget about that sometimes. You know, this, everybody's just overreacting and just panicking to everything that's happening right now. There's a lot of fear that's trying to be instilled by the media right now about what's going on. Uh, but, you know, I hope that when you guys see this video, that it'll bless you, uh, give you some reassurance, in fact, that everything is going to be okay, that the scriptures are there for a reason. They're not just words in a book, but there's life in those scriptures because the word of God is life. It's life into our soul. And I think now we need the word of God probably more than any other point uh, in the history of our nation and really in the history of our entire world. Again, guys, I'll put that video clip in the description. Let me know what you think of it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Leave the video here a like, share it across all your platforms. Subscribe if you're brand new because you're going to love this channel. Also, guys, consider sponsoring the channel for $5 a month. You can do so by going to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Links all in the description down below. You're also going to get my bonus content on Patreon, not found here on YouTube, all the podcasts that I do. So if you like my work, guys, and you like to sponsor me uh, with the $5 a month donation, I would greatly appreciate that. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.